What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MLB The Show, Road to the Show. And we are here going up against the Sacramento River Cats once again. And uh, they are on fire right now, fellas. Everybody on their squad is streaking real hot right now. Uh, they got Seth Corey, who's 2 0, 17 innings, 17 strikeouts, and a 3.71 ERA. Myself, I've thrown 47 in the third innings, 91 strikeouts, a 1.71 ERA, but I'm 0 2. Haven't gotten a single win yet. I think today is the day we make it happen. We're one game over 500. And if you guys are new to the channel, you should know that I am a two way player. So uh, occasionally we go back and forth in between pitching and playing shortstop. The shortstop that I have right now sucks. Jeremiah Jackson, last game that I pitched, he gave up an error subsequently letting up some runs coming through and me getting the loss so uh hopefully that's not the case today i'm gonna go out there and give it my all and uh hopefully we get a w let's dive into it right now so as you can see the river cats are 73 and 52 they're 20 games above 500 they're one of the best teams here in triple a and we're playing against them here at the porch at night let's dive into this game fellas all right and here we go luis Tor toribio our first batter of the day we're gonna start him off with the first pitch strike as he fouls it off into the dirt 0-1 the count. He's batting 270 this year. In his last eight games, he has two home runs and nine RBIs. So he's definitely picking it up as we get towards the end of the season here. Uh, two pitches in, and it's an 0-2 count. We're going to go ahead and trick him with the curveball, and that's going to be right down the middle there towards the bottom half. He fouls it off. He was a little early on it, it looks like. Or actually, I lied. He was very late. We got some wind coming in, six miles an hour to home plate, I believe. So uh, that will help me. Uh, as I am pitching today, so that's always a plus. Or actually, I'm sorry, it looks like it's six mile an hour winds going outward, so that's actually going to be bad for me, but it doesn't matter. We strike this guy out on, on five pitches, so that's always good, and I made him look nasty. Or, sorry, I made him look really stupid. I look nasty, is what I meant to say. And we get first pitch strike on Lamont Wade Jr., uh, one hell of a player. He currently is in the uh, San Francisco Giants organization. I believe he's actually called up and on this on the squad But he should be set back down right away as we just struck him out on three straight pitches That's the second strike out of the game only eight pitches for the kid thrown so far this inning And now we're playing against Heliot Ramos who's batting 318 this year. This guy is their stud He's the guy he's in second place on the River Cats for batting average right now So I am not looking forward to see who is the first place guy who must be waiting in the on-deck circle right now Waiting to take some hacks. Let's go ahead and try to get him with that curveball one more time that was perfect, perfect, and we get him to swing, let's go. Hell yeah, the kid gets three strikeouts and barely any pitches, no hits allowed. Salt Lake, let's go get some runs, fellas. All right, now we got Jalen Davis, and I lied. He's not the guy with a higher batting average than the uh, previous batter. He's only batting 250. We did get some runs on the board, and by some runs, I mean one run. We are now batting 1-0, so that's always good. Okay, 1-0 here against Jalen Davis. Let's get a strike on him there. There we go. That's the pitch that we wanted earlier. Just a little bit, uh, just a couple more inches inside the zone. All right, that one's out and away. We can't fall behind the number four batter, guys. We got to get him out ASAP as we get strike two in there in the upper right-hand corner. That's a beautiful pitch. Let's go out and away with a sinker, see if we can get him going down swinging. And yes, exactly. That's exactly what happened. We got him to go down swinging. Down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Fall that boy. Hunter Bishop now batting for the River Cats. He's rocking a 239 average not the best but not the worst by any means his last 10 games he's got two doubles and six rbis uh we're gonna come at him with some heat gonna keep coming at him with the heat actually actually no you know what i'm gonna go with the sinker here see if we can get him to swing and a miss all right he's able to make some contact 95 miles an hour in there in the bottom half of the zone let's go up and in with the heater strike him out call it a day yes sir didn't even swing the bat he already knew he was going down that's five straight strikeouts for the kid right here early on in the game. Jason Vossler coming up to the plate. He's rocking a 258 batting average and a 684 OPS. He must have gotten called up from double A very recently, or he's a major leaguer making a minor league rehab assignment start. Jeremiah Jackson with the play and the off balance throw. He gets the out number three of the second inning. We already got one run. Let's get some more insurance on the board. Let's go. Anderle, Barreto, Pullison, make it happen. All right, so it looks like they weren't able to make it happen, but it's all good. Peter Maris stepping in. He's got an interesting uh, batter's stance but we're going to go ahead and get strike one on him. He has 16 doubles on the year. He's tied for third on the Sacramento River Cats, so he's been here all season, more or less. We're going to go ahead and strike him out here on three pitches with an out and away sinker, and that was one of the most beautiful pitches I've ever thrown. A perfect sequence right there. 25 pitches deep, six strike out of the game, one out here in the bottom of the third. Ryan Howard, not to be confused with Philadelphia Phillies legend, Ryan Howard is now batting in the, bot the batter's box, not the botter's box. Last 10 games, he's rocking a 314 batting average 
average going 11 for 35. So that's always good on his end. I'm not looking forward to having to face him now as we have him one and one. But I have my A game going on today, fellas. So far, I'm throwing nothing but disgusting cheese or disgusting breaking balls. So hopefully we keep breaking these guys' balls, if you know what I mean. Let's go out and away with a fastball. And that was a strike blue. You can go fuck yourself because that was literally a strike in the zone. Not a single bit of that missed. Literally every single part of that pitch was inside the zone. So I don't know what the hell you're smoking, but we're going to strike him out anyway because that's what we come out here to do is make people look like shit when they're going up against TCAS in the batter's box. And now we have the top of the order back up. Oh, I'm sorry. One more batter till we get there. Brian Torres batting now. He's batting 191, probably the worst player on this team. Coincidentally, he may be the only person to get a hit off me because that's how it went down last game. But we get two quick strikes on him, make him look silly with that curveball, make him look silly with that fastball. He's 0 for 5 in his last game with the strikeout, and I think we just struck him out right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me, third base umpire. That's unbelievable. All right, should have been a strikeout. Let's go out and away with the fastball. Good evening, good afternoon, and you fouled it off. All right, this is going to be one of those at-bats, fellas. We're going to have to come inside with that curveball once again, make him look silly, and we do just that. Eight strikeouts for the kid to start his game. Three solid innings of perfect baseball. Let's go. Get me some more runs. Shebler, Fowler, Thice, let's make it happen. All right, time for the top of the order once again. Luis Torabio back at it again. We're going to go ahead and throw ball one, I guess. Uh, you know, we went through the lineup once. He has 116 hits this year. He's first on the Rivercats, so he's probably like their, their A-plus guy. Probably the guy that's going to get called up the, the quickest because if you have that many hits in AAA, you deserve to be a major leaguer. I don't care what you say. Uh, even the batting average says so, uh, but I'm going to keep lowering that batting average the longer he faces me. Uh, he fouls off two pitches here. It's only a one-two count. Hopefully, I can get out of this inning with under 55 pitches thrown. That way, I can go somewhat deeper into this game. I have uh, gone perfect deeper into games. I've never been able to complete a single one, unfortunately. Uh, I got pulled in double-A, actually, for one of my perfect games in the last inning. And I was very upset about that. So hopefully that doesn't happen here. Let's strike him out with a fastball. And he's fouling everything off, so I'm a little scared. I don't think we're going to be under that 55 pitch mark by the end of this inning if that's how it continues today. And oh my god, dude, you got to stop swinging at these pitches and just let it go down the, the middle. Let me strike you out, my guy. Come on. Oh my god, another foul ball. Come on. All right, I'm just going to go right down the middle with it. Right down the middle fastball. Okay, so I... I think at some point I'm going to start a foul ball counter because this is 10 pitches this at bat and that was a strike blue. That was literally, a, that's three times now this game. Maybe two, but three at least that I've thrown a strike right down the middle and it doesn't get called. I'm surprised he didn't call that one a ball. Jesus Christ. Nine strikeouts. Sit down, buddy. Lamont Jr., you're going down too, dude. Even if I have to get you to go down swinging. Oh, umpire, I thought that was a ball. You called that a ball earlier. Anytime there's a pitch in there, you call it a ball. Weird. Oh, you should have called that one a ball, too, even though he swung. Weird. Another pitch. Should have called that one a ball, even though he fouled it off. God, this umpire is so st All umpires in this game are so stupid. Bring in the robo-umps. I'm so done as we strike him out. If the umpire could, he'd probably call that a ball, too. Ten strikeouts in three and two-thirds innings. We are on fire, fellas. Start him off with the curveball. It's a little bit outside. Heliot Ramos, nothing against you, man. Last nine games, you're batting 353. That's really good. 12 for 34. That's amazing. Keep it up. Maybe you'll get called up someday. I'm certainly not because these umpires aren't going to call strikes for me when I throw actual strikes. Barreto with the ball, with an awful throw to Thais, but Thais makes the dig, and that's the end of the fourth inning. I need run support, fellas. It's, I am bound to give up a home run any minute now. Taylor Ward, make it happen for me, man. All right, Jalen Davis stepping up for his second AB of the day. We ended up making it to that 55 pitch marker. So I'm actually really happy that we finished the inning with that. Last nine games, he's batting 353, 12 for 34, just like the other guy that was just batting. And Barreto throws a terrible throw over to Thais that takes him off the bag. That's an error. I cannot stand you, Franklin Barreto. Not only can you not turn double plays, but you're also really bad at throwing less than 20 feet. Uh, remember that. This guy's supposed to be a major leaguer. Can't even throw 20 feet, so... We'll see how it, how this the rest of this game goes. Hunter Bishop batting 300 his last five games, 6 for 20. Not bad, but not the best. Hopefully we can get him to ground into a double play here because I do not want to have to throw 30 million more pitches. Uh, we already have thrown 60 here in this inning, and that was on the corner a little bit outside, so I'm okay with you calling that a ball blue, but come on, get it together. As we get him to swing at strike three, I mean, I think that's 11 now in, uh, in four and a third innings. Yeah, 11 strikeouts. We're here in the bottom of the fifth. Now we got Jason Vossler to worry about. I think we can get him to ground into that double play. And there we go. Another strike right 
in the zone. That's not called for a strike. Literally a perfect, perfect release in the zone. Not a single inch of it is outside of the zone. This umpire is blind as a bat. I am telling you. We need robotic umps in here ASAP. And this is a video game. This is a video game, so you would think it's like, oh, that was clearly in the zone. Let's call it a strike. Nope. Let's be realistic and call pitches that are strikes balls. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jason Vossler grounded to a double play so I don't have to throw more. Jesus Christ. Also, I want to have a counter for how many times I say Jesus Christ in a, in a freaking video. Jesus Christ. There we go. All right. That, that last Jesus Christ was forced. I didn't mean to say it that many times. But every other time, it's definitely, like, just out of habit. Oh, this guy almost sent it to the moon, or at least like on the other side of the foul pole. Come on, let's get him with the curveball. Get him to ground out to the curveball. Stop fouling it off, my guy. You need to knock that off, dude. I'm going to go back out and away. Eight pitches this at bat. This is insane. This is absolute insanity. Just trying to get him to strike out or, I don't know, ground out. There we go. Another strikeout. Make me throw another 50-something pitches, dude. 12 strikeout of the game. And I have a no-hitter now because Franklin Barreto ruined my perfect game. I actually may have ruined my own perfect game. I think I might have walked somebody earlier in this uh, in this video. I can't remember. He hit, or Mr. Maris has eight home runs. Kruger, you better throw this guy out, buddy. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? That's on me. I threw a wild pitch. So I understand that you weren't able to do that or get there. I feel like you could have dove for that. Maybe Ball Boy could have dove for it if he knew that you weren't going to get there. Let's go out and away with the sinker. Come on. Strike him out. Okay. That's a ground out to Thice. Thice, you better not make an error. There we go. That's the end of the fifth. I need run support. Because I feel like I'm going to get taken out very soon. I have a no-hitter going. I don't think my manager is going to let me go because he might as well be Kevin Cash in disguise or something. By the grace of God, we are here in the bottom of the six going up against Ryan Howard. Uh, he's rocking a 261 average and a 669 OPS. Uh, we've only thrown 70-something pitches, I believe. Last game, Ryan Howard was 1 for 4 with a single. I think we're going to make him go 0 for today. We've thrown 77 pitches. We're probably going to get into the mid-80s uh, by the time this inning ends, assuming like people don't come up and foul 30 million pitches off. Uh, but we get our first out of the inning at 78 pitches. Now we're at Brian Torres. He needs to be a quick out because he's the number 9 hitter. He's the worst hitter on the team. It should be very easy to get this guy out. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, though, as we get two quick pitches as strikes on him. That's the 20, 80th pitch of the game for me, and he's able to foul off pitch number three. So let's see if we can get him with the heater up and up right here, right now, and he's able to foul it off once again. So this is exactly what I feared, a hitter fouling everything off, going to try to get him with the curveball, and we get him this time. Yes, sir. That's strikeout number 13 and five and two-thirds. Let's go. And we got, we got an extra run, so it's now 2 nothing. Bottom of the six here, Luis Trebillo, who was just hitting everything off of me uh, and wouldn't let me strike him out. We got to make it happen here. He's at, he has 19 doubles on the team. He's tied for first on the River Cats. <clears throat> all right, that was outside. I'll give you that one, Blue. That one was outside. I wish you would have called it to make up for all the other ones that you missed, but hey, there's nothing I can do about that. All right, let's come with the curveball. One, two, three. Oh, man. I don't know why I said one, two, three. I should have said good evening, good afternoon. But we're going to go up and away, or just up and up. Come on, swing and a miss. Let's go! 14 strikeouts. That's a career high. We got nine more outs to get through this no-hitter, but I don't think they're going to let me go much longer. Jeremiah Jackson, Taylor Ward, Lane Huffman, get me some more run support so I can stay in, fellas. And somehow, some way, we are here in the bottom of the seventh with 88 pitches. Lamont Wade coming back for his third A-B of the game. We have been on fire. I think we've only let up one walk, and, I, and we might not have even walked anybody. I may be getting confused with an earlier game that I played. But hey, I am stoked that we're here this late into the game. Even if I give up, even if I lose this game, I'll be okay with it because I know that this was the best game in AAA that I've ever pitched. And because of how good it was today, despite me not having any wins prior to that, I think my low ERA, I think my strikeouts, I think my innings pitch will make up for that and also my offense. And hopefully I get the call up to the major leagues any minute as soon as this game's over. As we get the first out of the inning uh, here in Sacramento. Bottom of the seventh, one out. Heliot Ramos up at the plate. He has the highest batting average, or the second highest batting average on the team. I believe whoever has the first highest is currently sitting on the bench today, getting some rest. He may be a pinch hitter at some point later, but we got to get these guys out, one, two, three, and just get back on the bench, let my team get some runs on the board for me, and hopefully I can finish these last six outs of the game. Got to get through these last eight first as we strike out this guy. So seven more outs to go. Hopefully we can get some more strikeouts. 15th one of the game. This is my career high in strikeouts, fellas. So far, so good. Jalen Davis stepping into the plate now. Going to start him off with a curveball. That one's outside. We can't be starting off batters with 1-0. 
Got to go 0 and 1 every time. And that's hit to Barreto. Barreto might not make an error here. He's going to get the out, and he does. That's a 1 2 3 inning for me. End of the seventh. As you saw, it came up that I was out of energy. So let's see if they keep me in. Seven no hit innings, 15 strikeouts. I want to stay in this game. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. They're bringing in Omar Sanchez. He's 0 and 2 this year with only 14 2 thirds innings pitch, a 3.07 ERA, and he has a 300 batting average against right handed batters. So I'm. Keeping my fingers crossed that we're able to get this combined no-hitter because otherwise I might quit this team. I might retire from pitching altogether. Let's find out. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Seven no-hit innings, a two-run lead, and they still came back? Tell me how they came back. They, we went to the 14th inning once again. You got to be... That, this is insane. This is the definition of insanity. Me going out there every single time to pitch and thinking that I'm going to win and we lose once again. Seven no-hit innings, zero walks, 15 strikeouts, and we could not pull off the win. Fellas, that'll do it for today. I'm upset. I don't know what else to do on this team other than just, you know, give up because I, I, I could give you literally everything that I've got and it's still not enough. Oh, man. Fellas, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. I'd really appreciate it. I also have a podcast called Mike Up the Halo where we talk about nothing but Angels baseball. Go listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And go follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Mike Up the Halo. That'll do it for today, fellas. We'll see you next time.